There is life after death. We fear God, not men. Sometimes you just gotta praise him when you feel like there's no way out. It will be the only Bible someone will ever read. Let's make heaven crowd. Catching all souls. Welcome to another episode of The Fisherman, guys, we're I believe. Back. Yeah, yeah, I believe we're on episode 7 already. Woo. Man, glory to God, we're on episode 7. This is going on strong, good, and I hope we continue to go. <laughs> but if you guys see already by the whiteboard. The title and the whiteboard. Yeah. Are they the one? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Look, by no means are we counselors. <laughs> Oh heck! <laughs> <laughs> the, by no means are we advisors or anything. Yeah. This is us, our personal experience, what we think, what we believe, mm-hmm. and how we came about things. So our experience. Yeah, our experience. So this is not. <laughs> this is this might not work for everybody. This might work for some, but we're just try. We're just on here just to mm-hmm. see to tell you what worked for us. Mm-hmm. You know. So we wrote down. We have seven points. And we're gonna go by each and a, and each and every one of them and talk about them. Mm-hmm. So, dive are right th- into it. Yeah, let's dive right into it. Are they the one? Are you the one? Uh, yeah, duh. <laughs> <laughs> of course you are, babe. All right. My first topic was uh the clear red signs. So I saw a hell of red signs, guys. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Well, for me, I think there's two types of red signs. There's red signs for me personally, what I don't like okay. in a person, red sign. And then there's red sign like Christian, Christian. spiritual. <laughs> yeah, red sign. Yeah. So Which one do you want to talk? Well, we can talk about both. Yeah. Well, the most important one, oh, yeah, spiritual, spiritual red signs. Those like, are the ones we're going to talk about. Yeah. Uh, I would say those red signs are they're not invested in mm-hmm. God. They're not seeking God. Mm-hmm. They don't know the word. They're not praying. Yeah, you those know, should be your those are signs. oblivious red yeah, signs. Yeah, like if you see them Saturday, Sunday, Friday night drinking. Yeah. By run, 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 red run, run. <laughs> yeah, those. I think those should be red signs. We're yeah. not judging the person, but it's you know what you want with God, yeah. so you don't want to. You want to share that with someone else. <laughs> red signs, like personal wise, like for me. We're not talking about that. We need personal signs. Like red signs, like for for me. Let me hear them. Like, uh, cussing, foul, oh. m- foul mouth, disrespectful. Well, that's, that's a that's disrespectful. That's that's a red sign. No, because there's Christians that have foul mouth. Oh. You know, but what are you talking about? I'm just kidding. Those are just you can have your personal red signs. You know, your honestly your preference. Like what you want. Yeah. In somebody. So I would say spiritual red signs, and then your personal red signs. Write them down. And we each have our own preference, but once again, I would only set the bar high because you are a son of God, a a daughter of of God. God. You deserve the best. Yeah, but when it comes to you personal-wise, I think you should not set the bar super high because God can do a lot in both of you guys. Mm -hmm. You can change, the other person can change, but you can never make the person change. One thing I would say for sure, for sure, if you want to be like so, you know, write them down. But you have to see things that are negotiable and are not negotiable. Like one thing for sure, and my I knew the person I was gonna marry. I knew the person had to be a man of God. Like, yeah. I chose that. That's non negotiable. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna be like, oh, it's okay if he's yeah. not. Like, no, like he's gonna be yeah. a man of God. And also, what you write down or what you say, you have to do it as, as well. well yeah. yeah, you can't be like expecting. I want this guy to seek God twenty four seven, but you're not you're even not. one hour of prayer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, but for sure those things, because I feel yeah. like when you write it down, it's easier for you to see the signs. Yeah. Then you're like kind of guessing, like, is mm-hmm. this a red sign? Is this a red flag or is it not a red flag? You yeah. Know? Okay. Our second point is the clear green signs. Green flags. Why do we keep green saying flags, signs? Green flags. Green flags. Buzzer. Green buzzer. But yeah, uh, it's exactly the opposite. What you see that is good, like the go 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 for God. Mm-hmm. So first, like, once again, spiritual. Yeah. We see them one seeking first you could tell by the fruit yeah you could test the spirit some people be faking it yeah no some people do just especially when to get into a relationship yes oh they want to act all holy you're acting all holy for a month try to get with me but you're out there in After, the club partying yep. you're out with the friends and doing something you shouldn't be doing it has to be consistent you have yes. to see the green flag 
withhold itself through the yeah. whole time that you're yeah. with them and i think also to give you ch- give yourself enough time to date you know like give yeah. yourself enough time to know, to know like get to see the red flags yeah. and see the green flags like go out with the person do what you got to do so to what are, see so those things so what are the green flags green spiritually fl- yeah first yeah seeking god like i but i can feel it you know because like, yeah yeah it's not it's not just you yourself it's not like you have to force them to know god yeah they know god with like you. i'll be having a conversation with you and you just automatically be like do like guess what god did today or like something yeah. you know like and it just makes you feel so uh like yeah. at peace We're on the same page yeah you're just on the same yeah. page about things so yeah for sure seeking god i think second spiritually mm, they lead you but for me personally it was lead like yeah. i obviously we know yeah. the man is ahead so i needed that well every every woman needs that but i think that yeah. you should find that somebody who leads you to god like first they're seeking god but they're also leading you yeah and you need to be able to find that in somebody if the man that you're pursuing and you shouldn't even be pursuing but if the man that you want is out here you know like they're not really there like it's okay yeah. it's okay like it's i promise you it's okay god has somebody better Mm -hmm. but i think that should be a real thing because But i think you touched on a real good thing once we didn't first of all we're talking about this when you're kind of already in the midst of you like someone and they like you and you kind of know because you should not pursue a relationship guy Mm -hmm. or girl it says he who that's controversial (laughs) it says he who finds a wife you get me so it's not he who seeks a wife. It's not he who goes out and looks for a well, wife. How do you find one? God will put her in your way. So you didn't find me? God put you in my way. I found you because God put you in my way. I didn't find you because I was seeking you. I wasn't seeking a relationship. Yeah, I wasn't right. seeking a, like, I want something right now. I need to be loved by someone. I want a companion right now. Oh, but you mean it in the sense of you seeking, like, going out for it. Yeah, going out for a relationship. Well, in your, while you're in the relationship, you do pursue each other. Oh, yes. That's what I'm saying. No disclaimer. In the beginning, we're talking about you're already kind of in this phase where yeah. you know someone you're like, like talking, you. You're talking. Like you're talking. You're thing, kind of. you're trying to get into it. But yeah. if you're just trying to go out there and, you know, hey, this no. is not for you. And yeah. we suggest that you shouldn't do that because everything you look to play in your hands doesn't work out. Nope. But the green lights, once again, yeah. Seeking green God. Flags. The green flags. <laughs> the green flags. Seeking God. You know you can relate to them spiritually on a spiritual yeah. level you could pray with them you could read the bible with yeah. them you know those Honestly, are the green flags. that's a good thing too because i i think it that that falls under the i mean we have it down but equally yoked yeah like, let's just get into it because mm-hmm. if somebody yeah, that's topic three literally next one <laughs> yeah. because if they're not equally yoked let's say for ex- we'll put each other as an example melvin was you know like on fire for god and i was barely getting into it like i was barely a newbie like i don't think I don't think God would align both of that together. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know. God, God's God. But mm-hmm. I think within myself, I wouldn't want that because well, I wouldn't b- want to be dragging somebody yeah. either. Like somebody who's barely getting into it, they might have so many burdens that, y- you yeah. know, like you don't. Want, and that that chapter of each other's lives, it's I don't different. think you're willing to. It's going to yeah. clash. Like yeah. it's not going to. You can't fight for it. For it Every relationship know? needs work. But what you're saying is, yeah. It's like one is another season and another one's in a completely different season. Yeah. And you can't relate because you guys are going through different, different You have to be in the same season yeah, of same your guys' lives. Yeah. You know, but I was going to say equally yoked. Yes, I suggest you guys should be equally yoked. You have to be. Yeah. If you want a successful relationship, relationship long-lasting, a, godly yeah, relationship. Yeah, equally yoked. Same chapter, you know, because, for, ex- for example, I just, let's just say I have a bad day at work. And I come home and I need prayer and I want to pray and I'm trying to look for someone to help me pray and all this. She's like, nah, forget about it. Like, you just I need to cool off. I give more problems. Yeah. And like, that's you didn't do this today. You yeah. didn't do that. That's her not equally yoked with yeah. me, you know? Yeah, because you're not, when you're equally yoked is like, you're like on the same yeah like boat like y'all are the same like you could be different obviously but in the same like i don't know how you explain it wavelength yeah wavelength like like i know melvin like Mm -hmm. i know when he's upset i know when he needs something i'm not gonna be like forget you like Mm -hmm. i'm over here doing my stuff like why aren't you worrying about me Mm -hmm. like that like you can't i heard this i heard this saying it says chase after god 
and then find someone who can catch up to you mm-hmm. while chasing God. Yeah. If you guys are running, y'all got to be running together. Yeah. You know. So, also I put uh by equally yoked a put slash compatible because you have to be realistic. We talked about yeah. spiritual, spirituals first, but, but realistically in real life you have to be compatible with the person yeah. you have to have same likes or like same common something. you know like hey you, you like basketball too wow i, I like, basketball. like basketball i just can't <laughs> just it out there. <laughs> just like for can't. us we like going out to the gym so we go okay, gym yeah, sometimes like snowboarding snowboarding like going out to well eat. i brought her into snowboarding well, yeah but i like it yeah and going out to eat is our favorite one. favorite thing we go out to eat all the time <laughs> yeah but, like so try anything things common features that yeah. obviously you kind of have to yeah get find each other's yeah. humor get each something like yeah, you guys no. find and relate to each other because if not trust me like yeah. you're gonna think that person is either boring or like yeah because mine mine is humor like uh-huh. for us i think we laugh a lot in our relationship we and for others it could humor. be different it could be uh uh what is it called like talk time like they could just talk or intellectual too people are some people they, are they more do stuff together differently for us i say we laugh a lot yeah you know? mm. and that's our thing so yeah. i would say compatible just within with find something that you guys are compatible yeah. with, with the next one it this is a good one do they oh, lead yeah. you to sin or do they lead you to god yeah now this is very hard i feel like do this they is lead you to the fire or they lead you to, to the, the fire yeah <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna say that i was like i don't know what's gonna sound but yeah I think it should be a common thing. Like, it should be a pattern. If mm-hmm. they consistently... Because no one is perfect. Mm-hmm. People be like, oh, he did this once yeah. or she did this once. Nah, it's over. Yeah. It should be a consistent thing. You that find the consistency. They drag thing. you down more to sin, more okay. to the world, more yeah. to away from God. Example can be like, you're like, oh, let's go to church on Sunday. Like, or we're going to do this. We're going to go to church. We're going to have a devotional. And they're like, oh, it's a game on this day. Like, or let's go to the Dodgers game instead. Like they're yeah. having the finals. Like it's just once in a like, you know, like stuff like that. That I feel like that'll be a red flag to you. Yeah. If you're like, let's pray tonight. Let's have a a, a prayer and session tonight. Like mm-hmm. just you and I will pray to God. And they're like, ah, like oh, I'm playing video games with my with my bros tonight. Like mm-hmm. I can't. That's red flag right there. Like, yeah. But with the thing with this though especially in the first stages when you're talking to someone you, everyone's all like oh okay okay that's fine that's yeah, fine that's you kind of kind of what is it called um shrug it off your, shrug shoulders. It off your shoulders like if it's nothing this you drift slowly and slowly and you don't realize it until it's too you're late into it. so once again if it's consistently and you catch on to it you gotta mark it in your head okay he did this once or twice mm-hmm. i gotta mark it and then if it's happening you know what stop you verbally talk to the person just be like look i'm trying to do my thing with god and run after god if you don't want the same thing i would like for you to let me know Mm -hmm. so i could let this go and do what i do what i gotta do that's a hard conversation it is a hard conversation people don't want to have but it's gonna hurt a little less now than down the road yeah that's true it is uh-uh. going to affect you way more down the road than if you were to have yeah. the conversation straight up. So it's better there. to have it now than to have it later. Later, yeah. Because later you're already into it. You already love the person. You're already like... You really met the family yeah. and everything. Oh, hey. do you <laughs> met the family too? Oh, no. Yeah, so I would say do it. Have the conversation now. So yeah. if they lead you more to sin, if they lead you away from God, you got you got you to call it already. Yeah. You want someone to lead you to god. god you want someone to take you to church you yeah. want someone to take you to the bible and also not even that like you want somebody that if you're feeling down if you're in, t- in a tribulation t- in a trial that person is there to lift you up you know yeah. that person like you can count on that person to be like i got you like we'll yeah. pray i'll pray for you you mm-hmm. know like all of that comes into play with that and yeah. you gotta see that like you really have to see because remember marriage is for the rest of your life like you're not yeah. marriage is not i could say bye to this person the next day and, and i like that because that's our next topic uh oh, I didn't see. <laughs> five it says why date if you don't want to get married but in the same sense if you're not willing to get married i don't think you should be willing to get in a relationship yeah if you're not willing to marry at all if you're not in that time yeah. frame you're not in that chapter of your life don't even because i hear look. a lot of people say i'm just dating around i'm just yeah. trying to you know figure no, you know no. trying to see t- dip my toe in the pool you know and that's a bad way of there's thinking. no dipping your toes in your pool you, right you, here. you better jump in all the way yeah or else bye-bye yeah, no yeah because no. for us especially when you are 
working in believing in God, you are making a covenant with one person for the rest of your life. Mm-hmm. And that person, there's no taxi backsies. There's no, yeah. you work for something. And yeah. once again, no relationship is perfect. No, it's not all easy, but it's worth fighting for. It's worth working for. But that's what I'm saying. If you're not willing to marry the person, you shouldn't even be considering. Yeah. And know. like, again, these are the things that we found for our relationships yeah. at work. Like in our experience, this is what we had to like, we yeah. saw for our relationship. Yeah. And so. And obviously you won't know until you want to marry the person until you get to know them. Yes. That's yeah. Obviously obvious. it's not like the first time, the yes. first day you're like, oh, I mean, for some people it does happen like that. I know it does. That's, that's like, I'm going to be real. I, I always say this and I know people are probably like, you're crazy. Like. I promise you, I remember this one interaction with this girl that lives in my apartment. This is I had another account. I would hella post Melvin on there, and he wasn't even. We weren't even. We weren't nothing to like dating. We were just like in our little talking stages, and I would post him, and I I would be like my boyfriend this, like already claiming him or whatever, and I literally said like I'm gonna marry this guy one day, and I remember the girl coming in. I had just came back from seeing seeing him with my friend, with my best friend, and I. P- came into the driveway and she was walking down and she had already seen my story and she's like girl you're crazy like you think you're gonna marry him show her the ring babe show her the ring right here guys <laughs> <laughs> like i knew for me i did know yeah like it w- i knew but it was kind of hard because i really uh, our story, story is, is a little complicated yeah, our story is <laughs> it's a but lot but i did know like i for some people they down do within for myself some people they i knew do. i just didn't know how god was gonna but do it. i would say for the majority obviously yes get to know the person yeah. talk to the person and know them as a friend first. I feel like it's hard. People get into a relationship yeah, without knowing that's them true. at all. They I recommend be friends first. Yeah. Because, because if you go straight into it. Yeah. Like you don't know. Like, m- she's my best friend. So I would say I know her already. Mm-hmm. And we're able to communicate, talk, get it's each easy. other. It's easier. Yeah. Like, we honestly did become best friends before even being, yeah. like. But we didn't realize we were each other's, like, yeah. person until we you know realize but yeah yeah first that like if you don't and it's not even to for you to go look for a best friend it's like it just happens yeah naturally. But so for us you would want to get married right mm-hmm. we that's once again you want to marry your best friend yeah you want to marry your best friend and god is a god of marriages unity yeah. it's not of destruction Covenant. divinity no i mean divinity <laughs> uh division <laughs> divinity <laughs> division it's a beautiful thing when two people come together and say, yeah. I want you and I want this Just and chase God for the rest of my yeah. life, you know, because when you go out here trying to test the waters, you're kind of giving a piece to yourself that's to everybody. And that's you're not giving right. You're yourself away to everybody and, yeah. and you need to, you need to save yourself for that one yeah. person. Find, find someone that you could be compatible, save yourself for that person. Yeah. And it's and good do they play their role Ooh, i think this is a hard topic for a lot of people because nowadays we don't even know what roles are nowadays yeah. <laughs> Literally. but but why what we mean by that do they play their roles i am the husband she is the wife not I, yet I just oh, not yet not yet not yet i mean we do like to play into our roles now but we pl- it's because the thing is she is a wife but when I marry her, she I am making her my I am making her my wife. Yeah. You know? So do I see her play the roles? What do I mean by that? Is she submissive? Mm-hmm. And submissive, I don't know if you guys understand that word. A lot of people take it wrong. But submissive is she's willing and knowingly trusting in you when she follows your action, your mm-hmm. lead, and she's not second guessing. Mm-hmm. She's not rebelling none of that she's submissive to you because you're under god's lead yeah so it's I trust god enough to know that he's being submissive to god so yeah. therefore i'm being submissive yeah. to him it's god man woman child mm-hmm. you know so is she playing her role is she being submissive is she supporting me the way she should as a wife mm-hmm. is she realistically taking care of Might the be house nurturing. because she's making it a home mm-hmm. is she taking care of the kids because she's making it a family mm-hmm. you know that's her roles you yeah. know for me, my roles, am I being, am I providing for her? Am mm-hmm. I taking care of her? Am I leading her to God as I should do? Mm-hmm. Like, th- my roles as a man are different as your roles, mm-hmm. but that's what makes us compatible mm-hmm. because it just fits. negative and positive go together, yeah. you know? 
positive, positive. Yeah. So yeah, are you guys playing? Are, do you see that person playing into the role? If they're yeah. d- and they have to want to play into the role, it's that's not like true. You can't force them. Yeah, you can't force somebody into providing for you. You can't yeah. force somebody into doing something for you. Like it has to be willingly. Yeah. A relationship is all willingly. So if they don't yeah. even want to do that, yeah, say bye to the person. And once again, I'm gonna say it again. This works for us. Mm-hmm. I think it helped because we just grew in a background and our families were. It was just easier to follow my role as a man because yeah. I kind of saw that she falls in the role of a woman because she kind of grew up in that. Yeah. So once again, it might be different for you guys. You guys might have a different situation and yeah. that works out for you all under God and glory to God that works out for you guys. We're just trying to follow the way of the Bible because mm-hmm. it says a man needs to provide and mm-hmm. man is the head. Mm-hmm. So that's the way it works for us and yeah. we're trying. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So yeah. So do they play in their roles? Yeah. And for us, we are, or at least we're trying we to try in our to. best way. Yeah. We always grow each day. So yeah. do they play in their roles? And the last one point seven: Do you actually connect to the person? Once again, we talk spiritually, which is the most pr- uh, important one. But realistically, realistically, do you actually connect? Is are you forcing it, or is it the actual? Yeah, because connection? W- once again, you could be in a fling or a lo- or you're sprung whatever for a month or two months. Mm. And then this next thing good. next thing you know, you're like, I don't know anymore. I kinda that girl looks really pretty. I yeah. wanna see how things Honestly, are. Honestly, like I'm not even trying to this is n- not nothing to throw shade, but that was one of my s- my fears in the beginning because I knew Mel Yeah. I knew <laughs> Melvin I knew him as being the bo- like he would get bored so quick. Like I, I was, huh? I think you, we even talked about yes, it like my like like um, because when we were friends, he would say like, "Well, I just get bored quick. Like, I want something new. Like, this person is getting <laughs> boring to me." And like, yeah. I would hear that, and I knew. And so then when we got into a relationship, oh, my mind was rolling because yeah. I would get scared. Like, I'd be like, "What if he gets bored of me? Like, mm-hmm. what if he doesn't want me anymore? Like, this and that." You bring a really good topic. Um, you should never change for nobody. Oh uh, yeah. You should never be like. I gotta dress like this. I gotta For do this. this, this. No, 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 no. The person is gonna accept you, f- the person you are. Yeah. Obviously, there's things that you're willing to change, like, like for example, Melvin. your attitude. Yeah, like things like that. Like yeah. you're willing to, like, uh, Melvin. I don't like, like, I want you to open the door for me. Like, I mean, that already came with yeah. it. But like little things like that. Yeah. But you should but not change as a personality. Change who you are character, inside. Yeah. Never. Like, I'm not gonna. No. Um. I yeah. think that should align with like red flags and no. all that. But we never, we didn't connecting it, but though. So like, yeah, how you're saying, I would get bored fast <laughs> and all that. Yeah, like when I was friends with him at first. I mean, yeah, like he would talk to other people, and I remember him like saying, like, uh, like, no, like, I'm, I want something else. I want something new, and I would talk to other people. Yeah, I would, but yeah, but like I just knew. So, and then I knew you as um that type of person. Like he would get bored. You would get bored yeah. very quick. Back then, guys, too. Yes, I was a player. I was not good. If God, back then, I I grew a lot. I would like to say. Yeah. So. I also had that kind of childish boy mindset. boy mindset. And so that's what I mean. Like, if you see that person being like that, like, it follows onto all of them, literally. Yeah. Are, do they play into the role? Role being, like, are they, did their mindset change? Is it growing? Yeah. Is it... You want to marry a man, not a yeah, boy. Yeah, yes, exactly. Like, are they pr- is that person ready to settle as well? Like, mm-hmm. or are they still on seals to see what, what else is out there? Like, so make sure you're compatible with the person. And you connect with the person yeah. realistically, you know, one on one for a while. Make sure yeah. it's ju- it's not just a fling. It's not just yeah. you're feeling sprung. Yeah. You know, y- you got to talk within yourself. Yeah. For me personally, when I was entering this relationship, I was feeling OK. We connect and stuff. And also as a man, I had to ask myself, am I ready to bear settle. someone else's not settle, bear someone else's emotions thinking problems all that because it comes when you are ready for a relationship it is not just you yeah i don't think about just me anymore i think about us Mm -hmm. and our future i think as a man you should go for that too because that just shows that you have a godly mindset of wanting to provide Mm -hmm. for your future wife and then for the for the woman too you should be wanting to support help nurture nurture do the best you can for your man because mm-hmm. that's the person you want to be for your future husband mm-hmm. you know and i just want to read this we already said it but it's in proverbs eighteen twenty two. it says whoso findeth the wife findeth a good thing 
and obtain the favor of the lord mm. you know so i just wanted to go back to don't go out looking don't go out seeking let it happen let god bring you the woman i mean the wife or the husband to you yeah you know because it's the favor of the whole you have the favor of the lord when yeah. you find a wife and honestly 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 truthfully like our, i think we can both say from our experiences when we did it in our own hands it did not work out you know like we just brought damage within ourselves spiritually we brought each other d- or we brought ourselves down like you just want to make sure you're first pleasing god in everything that you do and, and choosing a person like finding a person that's one of the biggest things of your life you yeah. know you got to make sure that's in the will of god you know it's not just what you want yeah. so and yeah. i think it, it falls already along what we talked about but we didn't really say it you should not involve yourself with someone who is not christian mm-hmm. that's point blank if you guys didn't get that by what our seven points are we're, we're i'm just saying it now you should not involve yourself with someone that is not christian who's yeah. not following god and there's stories where oh it happened to us i changed i, cha- I helped a person and all this yeah but i bet it was a struggle for you you i bet you were battling and through my eyes what i've seen through my mom and dad back then like when they first got together my mom went through hell you know my mom went through a lot of things because my dad Mm -hmm. didn't grow up in christianity he didn't know who god was and Mm -hmm. all that and she battled that yeah so yeah you could be with someone and marry someone who's not christian how is that gonna look for you yeah but you're gonna suffer you're gonna suffer like you are because yes god will redeem whatever you will give him yeah but why go that route yeah why take that path why suffer like you're doing it to yourself yeah yeah no for sure but just wanted to point that out there because i i thought it was obvious for the seven points yeah true somebody not just christian they claim themselves to be christian but somebody who's actually fears god fears god anyone everyone calls themselves christians yeah literally everybody's calls themselves christians but honestly honestly it's fearing god like fear of you fear god it's fear of yeah. the lord it's not fear like oh, i'm scared it's literally fear, fear. you have you're reverence. terrified of being away from god yeah like you have reverence to god you're re- re- you respect god you obey god like all yeah. of that comes with fear like you mm-hmm. you want to please god in everything you you do so you're scared that you don't do that like yeah. that's what that kind of fear looks like yeah. and so that falls onto all of this if he fears or if they fear they yeah. will do all that we're talking yeah. about literally and wh- once again we're gonna say it this worked for us this was <laughs> our experience by no means are we counselors yeah dating advisors none of that don't come for us for our dating advice yeah i mean we could try to tell you our story in the best way we can once again this worked out for us but it may work out for you it may not work out for you yeah this just maybe you have a us. different story yeah and, and know, if you do have a different story com- i want to say i would want to know what your story is comment what your story that's true. is I, I, yeah, i'm curious yeah. to hear like what people have what to worked say. out what worked out for you yeah what, you know what was your story so uh yeah once again that was our story stay tuned for another episode we're coming out with is jesus god yes so there's a lot of debate around that there's you know a there's a lot of tiktok videos all yeah. that and stuff and we want to hit on that as well yeah, we personally want our opinions so stay tuned for that on another episode and that'll be it for today's yeah. episode you guys i hope you guys enjoy it and honestly you know like maybe related maybe you're like that they're wrong or i don't know what it is but yeah you know i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was a blessing to your guys's lives and like we like we said again we have more videos coming for you guys and just stay tuned yeah just stay tuned for the next one you guys right. so we'll see you guys then right. bye we'll see, you. see you in the next one i wish someone will ever read let's make heaven crap catching all souls